Hey guys, I want to show you a mod that I made recently, and even though the finishing isn't that great, I'll admit it, it is one of the most evil puzzles that I've ever made. So I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably thinking, well, what is this Rubik's Cube? I mean, there's multiple shades of green, the color isn't perfect, the stickers aren't even well cut. What is this? Well, the thing is, this is way more than a Rubik's Cube. It might look simple to you guys, but there is something extra. You think this is the green face, right? Except when you turn it, you realize that it is not the green face at all. Now, let me explain. You see, this same goes for here. This isn't the red face at all. There's, I mean, there's white, yellow, orange. Now, if you look closely, this is the yellow face, right? Except it's not. It's the blue, red, green, yellow, orange face, there's everything. And same goes for here, it looks green, but it's multicolored. Here it looks orangey, but it's multicolored as well. This is supposed to be the blue face, but it's not. And the thing is, what I've done is I actually asked for a, a lenticular printing service to print stickers that are lenticular. That means that when you look at them from a different angle, they change color. So what looked like a simple Rubik's Cube, uh, it was from this angle, is actually completely different. You see, this is just green and red, right? Except when you turn it, boom, it changes color. So this is extremely difficult because let's say I'm doing two turns right now. I got blue, red, I've got some green, yellow, except it's not blue and red, this is actually the white face, if I'm not mistaken. The thing is, this is extremely complicated because of that. And I think I messed up somewhere. I, uh, what did I do? I think I, I messed up something. I'm not going to move it anymore. I'm going to try to look at what I did wrong uh, later on, because I do not want to get this scrambled. Oh god. Okay. <sighs> Okay, sorry, I had to pause there for a second because I really didn't want to get this scrambled. Um, I thought I was an idiot because, you know, I, I, I scrambled it. Well, it turns out I, I was an idiot, but not because I scrambled it, just because I didn't realize that the solution was just an R move. So, <laughs> I thought that was green, but it wasn't. That was part of the white face. This is green. So, yeah. The thing is, the puzzle, this puzzle in particular, is just so complicated because some parts yeah, I mean, some stickers, one side is part of one puzzle, and well, actually for every sticker, one side is part of one puzzle, and the other side is part of the second puzzle. But when you scramble this, well, the angles change for every piece, because for example, you can see that if a piece is oriented like that, it's red. If it's oriented like that, or like this, it becomes yellow. So depending on the orientation that you get, the pieces aren't the same. And so, that's what makes it so hard, because when you're solving it, you don't know if a piece belongs to one puzzle or the other, and you can have like a blue-red piece here, as well as a blue-red piece here, because each of the two stickers is part of a puzzle. Now, I still have templates. You see, for example, this was the red face, and you can see the red face here slightly. This isn't the perfect angle to see colors, but anyways. This is what the red face looks like when it's part of the second puzzle. So this is one puzzle, sorry, this is one puzzle, and this is the other, with the white face, blue, red, yellow, orange, green. Okay, granted, the colors aren't perfect because, you know, they have multiple colors. For example, these are light and dark, I mean, light and orange, and these are dark and orange, so this is why there's some, you know, different shades of green, different shades of orange, but yeah. These are the two puzzles that are put into one with this cube. And I hope you like this uh, idea that I had. Um, I, I do like it, even though I almost banged my head against the wall just because of an R move. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I'd love to know uh, if you're interested in me uploading these files. Unfortunately, if you don't buy batches, they actually cost a lot of money. Um, each each of those sheets cost me ten uh, ten dollars, so it's it's quite expensive. Maybe not when you buy a hundred of them, but so this is why I'm asking: Would you like me to give these two away and that's that? Would you like me to sell some on my Amazon shop or something? 
just let me know in the comments below. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to share this with your friends, and you know, go and like my social networks and stuff, you know, the classic stuff. It's all in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video next weekend.